to take whatever we decide today to take that forward and to make sure, as JP said, that we're on at the same point again next cycle. Um, and then Sain and Melissa kind of volunteered for, to look into that. Then we made the point that we don't want to reinvent the wheel or create new conferences when, when there are actually many conferences already and we thought it was useful to look at how we can align them. Uh, looking at Sykeson, I mean, could we next year at Sykeson have a special track where we maybe have a workshop for three hours and then a special track with ICT for the papers? We w don't know, we wouldn't know before we haven't approached the Sykeson committee. Uh, the organizing committee, so that's something to investigate. Uh, the other is EDR. People said that they have a problem with EDR. It's that in International Development Informatics Association, uh, which conference, many of you know about that, it's organized by NASH, mainly Jock Stein, and then he gets other people to collaborate. And, uh, but that one doesn't have a strong, or there was a feeling that it doesn't have a strong enough computer science track. So if we could negotiate with them to get a computer, dedicated computer science track. So that is towards not kind of just starting up new things, but looking at existing structures and using that, aligning up it to serve the ICT for the community. Um, okay, because there are quite a few conferences to consider. There's the AFRICAI, the first AFRICAI, which is next year in November in Kenya. Uh, then there's IFIP 9.4, that's 27, but that's also around, and we have some people involved there by the name of Melissa. And who else did you mention there, Melissa? Or IFIP 9.4? Oh, we have Wallace, it's our big uh, IFIP 9.4 uh, representative. So we have uh, representation there, and uh, we didn't have a specific request for IFA, but just mentioning that as on the calendar. Then there was mention of a special issue in another special issue. We had one in um, SAC J, but now it, are there other places where we could have maybe specifically one for <coughs> South African research? And that was mentioned. We don't have a kind of person taking that up yet, so um, consider that maybe we get to finalization if somebody <coughs> wants to volunteer, uh, we, even if you're just involved with a journal. Okay, then last year I started the ICT for the mailing list. I sent out a few things, didn't get too much reaction, I didn't want to spam people, so it all went quiet, but there was a feeling that maybe we should revive that, so I will send out a few things and I'll see how that goes. Uh, people mentioned that the pro there's a problem if people don't get together. Apparently the Western Cape ICT for the mailing list is working very well because you actually get together. So we'll look at this uh, and maybe whatever comes from here and so we can send it out on that mailing list so maybe it will become more useful. Then finally, I was, this morning I mentioned the knowledge sharing uh, network, basically just a website where we can collaborate, put information up there. Uh, exactly what should be there is not clear to me because there's, there's a tension between having detail and keeping, and keeping it up to date. But anyway, we, we will work on that and we will be in contact and get your input as to how best to maintain that. But uh, from the NISA side, we're interested in doing that. Okay, I think that let me step down and then we can just get the volunteers later. Sure. Group number two. I'm not holding them. No. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm <laughs> All right, so in book two, um, we're looking at the private aliens or private research aliens. Um, our book was, was chaired by uh, Professor Edwin. Um, so the first question.
question, which is what should be the priority uh, application research areas, uh, we felt this we, we may not conclusively uh, just come up with those areas now, but we thought if we do a gap analysis of the uh, SDGs, this is the Sustainable Development Goals, the new ones that the uh, UN just uh, released, and probably uh, have localized or uh, localize them for, for the particular South African context. Uh, and for that, uh, in our group, uh, JP, uh, Jean-Paul Jean -Paul is going to spearhead that, uh, but obviously with, uh, with input from, from all of us, so maybe there's going to be a mailing list or work that's going to go on there and involve all of us. Um, now, uh, the second one, which is what should be the priority, computing research areas, uh, or the theory of, 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 of whatever we be doing from uh, question one. Uh, so for that, uh, uh, a number of things came up. The first one is uh, how, or looking at the methodologies for designing the ICT for the artifact. So whatever we're doing uh, that we, we, we identified from, from one, how or what are the methodologies that we're going to use to develop uh, those things. Uh, and if particularly, uh, we're saying those methodologies should be driven by uh, values uh, and ethics. So we should have a, a certain set of values or ethics that drive whatever methodology one has to take to, to develop uh, the artifacts. Uh, so this is going to be uh, to be uh, spearheaded by Edwin. Uh, KK, uh, sorry, so at the school, yeah, uh, and Janet. So these were the, the members that were in our group. And secondly, uh, uh, ICT policy, how to, uh, for again, whatever area one is looking at, development uh, or just looking at the ICT policy in general, uh, from micro to macro process that are involved in developing uh, or adoption of the, uh, of, of, of the policies. And also how the policy uh, links with the development. So there has to be some work on the policy uh, aspect as well. So that's going to be uh, spearheaded by Wallace. And uh, thirdly, uh, theorizing the ICT for the uh, research or whatever artifacts or whatever process we're going uh, to, to work on, how to create uh, the, the next step, which is getting theory out of that uh, to feed back into the, into the research community. So, theorizing our work, uh, so that's something that uh, is going to be spearheaded by Emily and uh, Marita. Uh, that's the name, okay? Erwin. Erwin. Not Edwin. No, not Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, and, and then uh, again, on. on uh, the, the priority computing areas, uh, there is also, uh, there was also a, a sort of uh, a mention that maybe the issue of, of ethics and values would be cross-cutting in all these, uh, these, these areas that we, we talk about. So maybe a whole uh, look at the axiology of, of, of the research that, uh, that's being done. And this is going to be uh, taken, out, uh, taken up by KK. And the last question was on uh, how will such initiatives be funded? Uh, this seemed to be a rather difficult, or, uh, difficult question for us. Uh, but uh, there was a general uh, consensus that maybe we should have a sort of a, uh, within the structure of, of the ICT for the community, a sort of a lobbying arm or a lobbying uh, sort of association formed out of this. That would be the, uh, the lobbying uh, sort of uh, uh, arm and then maybe talk to uh, organizations, uh, NRF for example, uh, with specific uh, agenda to get more funding into ICT for the investigated work and also maybe having an interface with universities and other international organizations uh, from within our sort of lobbying arm to get uh, awareness into the needs for, uh, the need for funding into the uh, ICT for the research. So those are the, 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 the things that we, we talked about. Okay, thank you. Um, 
to hold the paper. Good afternoon. We are group three. Our theme or discussion was about engagement and collaboration of community. community. Our first question was, how can we improve engagement with the local communities? And we thought about these things that I'm going to mention. Uh, the first thing was establishing an infrastructure with the existing organizations, the NGOs, the universities, uh, social scientists, uh, government. So we should try to establish infrastructure with the existing uh, organizations. Uh, then also our projects that we do with the community should be community uh, integrated, not something just independent from our side or from the community side. Uh, it should be rather tool creation than solution driven. Uh, the tool, uh, tool creation for the communities. And then we also said that it should be participation, long-term engagement, uh, not something that, uh, we, because we, we have people that are in this group, they, we're talking from their experience that Sometimes if it is a long-term engagement, then you get really get uh, trust, and then people engage more into the into the into the research. Uh, then sometimes let's try to strip off where we come of predefined research questions. Let's try to find out uh, what is uh, their immediate need at that time. Uh, so that how can we improve the engagement? Uh, because sometimes you come into rural communities and there are problems. Uh, the only at that time is not an IT solution or a mobile app. So we thought of let's try to first find out what is the actual problem on the ground. And then how can we improve the collaboration among local or international colleagues? Uh, there was a mention that there are already existing tools like mailing list, group uh, that talked about, I mean, people communicate, groups, is, I mean, groups, uh, meetups. And these groups work quite well for the academics. Uh, they, they have the connections and they, they are on that mailing list. Then we thought, what about those that are not on this mailing list? Uh, we could, we thought of, because uh, that was an idea that I also mentioned that workshops like this can be taken to the rural communities. And then that allows even the rural, local, among locals can also come to, the, to that workshop because it's nearby village. And then you have nicely international work local. Uh, collaborating in, during that workshop. Uh, <coughs> conf, uh, yes. Okay, then things like uh, radio uh, also works well in the local context in rural areas because they use uh, radio as a medium of communication. Uh, partners, uh, then obviously partners, partnership. I will move to the next one. My colleagues can always add if I'm missing something. How can we improve uh, engagement of African content in regions of similar issues around the world? Uh, we, because we, all these things, we, we thought about the already system, but maybe there is not a mechanism or a tool that allows it to proceed or to make it consistent. That's why we thought of a hub or a center of place where you can have a like, repository of all, all, all of our work that we do. Uh, and it should not be just a static page, it should be dynamic where people can communicate. Uh, if I'm having a problem, then it should be someone very intelligent to say, okay, someone has done that solution. So, I mean, that's, we, we thought of having a hub that can actually let people uh, communicate in this ICT protein. So that would be the main thing for us. How can this be funded? Uh, we we mentioned that there are there are already people funding projects uh, inside. Okay, we can produce fundraising activities. Okay, we have the uh, ICT for D volleyball. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, we, we need to get those uh, people with money to to to, to, to sponsor such projects, especially. If it is well informed uh, of, the, of the communities, the companies, uh, they have community service that they need to do. So if we have done proper research, we, we think that uh, that will come, up, come out clear, clear that people will see about what we are doing is, is improving the communities. Uh, action points, obviously, the hubs need to be developed. Uh, 
we did put names to all these things. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, it's uh, we. Maybe the reason was that mostly our students in India don't want to, they just want to finish their studies. 